Hey, can you send me the file? Hey, do we have a copy of that report ready? Hey, John says you have a copy of the report ready. Hey, I know you sent me that file, but I really need you to send it again. <laughs> uh, emailing documents used to be the best way to distribute files within a company. However, as we just saw, it quickly becomes a nuisance and it's getting harder to keep track of. We want to show you a better way with Office 365. See, we already did a video on the what and how of groups, but we didn't really go over the why. And so we recently had a client come in who helped us develop a case study of groups. See, he wanted one place where multiple people could access a file. So the gotcha was the people who he wanted to share the documents with are external to his company. So let's go back and take a look at how we solved this issue using groups. The first thing we did was create the group. We gave the group a name, we set the permission level, and we saved. The next thing we did was add the external members to it, which all you have to do is know their email address. Then finally we uploaded the files he wanted to share to his site. And that's it, that's all we did. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What just happened? Let's see that again, but with more detail. The first thing we did was open Outlook, and then from the home menu, we clicked New Group. This new window is where you would give your group a name, which then becomes the group's default email address. And the privacy section is where you would select if you want users who are not members of your group to still have access to the group files or conversation history. Finally, check the checkbox if you want new members to receive notifications in their inbox. The members can change this setting later. And finally, we can now add the external users by using their full email address. Oh right, the files. As explained in our previous groups video, when you make a group, you also create a SharePoint site to store group files. Access it by clicking on your group and then from the Home tab, select Files. Once in your group SharePoint site, you can either drag in the files or select them from the Upload button. And that's it, that's all we did. But the catch is, what's the experience like for the external users? See, once the group is created and you add the members, it shoots out an email to anyone who you add as a member. And so all they have to do is click on the link to access it. If they don't already have a Microsoft account, they'll have to create one. But once they do that, they'll be able to access not only that file, but they'll also be able to access any other file repositories that they're a member of. Oh, and one more thing. Because the external user now has a Microsoft account, they can take advantage of things like co-authoring, but that's another video. So what our client has done is essentially set up his own file server where he eliminates the need to send documents back and forth through email. Now there's just a centralized location where his external users can access the files. So if you like what you saw in this video or you have a question about Office 365, leave a comment below.